That's how interim national captain Denzel Theobald has described the training methods of German coach Otto Fister, a squad of local players. They have been in training for the last few months and will face their first game under coach Fister on Sunday against India. While it is a totally local squad, there is hardly a shortage of experience with this country's all-time scorer Stern John in the squad, as well as 2006 World Cup veteran Denzel Theobald and Daryl Roberts, who played professionally in Holland, along with the upcoming Andre Toussaint. After an intense workout Thursday morning, Theobald described the sessions under coach Fister as tough. Every coach had their own style of play, but this coach seems to you know, be hard on us every second of every training and makes a difference, you know, makes us work harder and makes us mentally focused. As they get set to face of the unknown and lower ranked Indians on Sunday, the recall of John has raised some eyebrows, but he's not bothered by the critics. It's been a long time coming for me, uh, 12 months out of the game, uh, long hard rehab process. And it's just, I'm just happy to be back playing now, especially okay. representing my country. The critics are always going to be there. I mean, if I, if I um, worry about the critics now at this time of my career, then it doesn't make any sense. Um, the critics are there. Um, I just have to get on my football and I'm here to represent Trinidad and Tobago. And that's what it is about, representing the country and, and doing the best for your country. Former Holland-based striker Daryl Roberts, at age 27, has been out of the national picture for the last two years. And he said he has been missing it. Spending my time on being away. Obviously, you, you want to be part of the national team and, and in the national colors as, as a professional footballer and play for your country, you know, the highest level. You want to play in your country and, you know, as I said, hopefully this time around, you know, I, I, I will regain my spot and, and also the boys in the team will, will, will come out as a unit and, and help everybody in the, uh, in the country to come out as one and hopefully we can get it started on a positive note in the first game. And the Indian footballers arrived in Trinidad earlier this morning from Barbados. They were scheduled to play the Bajans a match last night, but that game was cancelled at the last minute. They were met this morning by officials of the Indian High Commission. Now they are focused on Trinidad and Tobago, a team ranked higher than them. I've got a very young, promising youngsters in the team, and we have come here to, to play good football. We're in the transition period. They've done very well in the uh, pre-qualifying. And I hope everything goes well with this uh, friendly international matches against Renat Tobacco here and then again one in Guyana. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a very tough match, but uh, it's a very good experience for us. Uh, the, uh, it's a higher ranked team. So we are looking forward to play a good match on Sunday. And Climax and the gang held their first training session at lo on local shores today. A light runabout to help loosen the limbs. Under the scope of head coach Armando Colaco, the Bangra boys took it light at Fatima College ground this afternoon. It was a good-natured session as the men from the Asian subcontinent also seemed to be dealing quite well with Trinidad and Tobago's climatic conditions. Some ball work and later a light inter-squad scrimmage brought their hour-long session to a close. And they will be back at it again from 7.15 tomorrow morning, all in preparation for Sunday's big clash. Meanwhile, in other...